your local two weather authority forecast with meteorologist John Bayer. The supermoon did not disappoint for many West Texans, some even playing catch with it. Oscar Natividad sending us this photo of him and his son. Now, the full moon hasn't been this close to Earth in 68 years and won't again until 2034. And because he does such a great job of explaining this, <laughs> John's going to do it again. John, go. Okay, so, supermoon, <laughs> full moon and closest in its orbit to the Earth. You put those two together, that's a supermoon. We get those all the time. Last month was a supermoon. This is an extra supermoon because it also happened to be an orbit that was a little bit closer than it normally is. So you put it all together, that's why this was so magical. And this morning was actually the best chance to see it. Unfortunately, we had a few clouds out there. So uh, eh, Mother Nature didn't really play along for the best viewing time, but last night, absolutely beautiful. Will it look good tonight? Yeah, uh, that's the question, right? Well, I mean, <laughs> One thing is, it might not be technically super, but that's still pretty impressive again tonight. So I, I do think if you want to take another look at the moon, definitely worth a shot out there if you head out this evening. But yeah, early on, a few clouds, they made their way through. You can still see the remnants of that down to our southeast. That's where we're still seeing a little bit of cloud cover down towards Del Rio. But most of us have cleared right back up. And well, we've been dealing with a lot of sunshine and some more of those rising temperatures out there. Got back into the upper 80s, or excuse me, upper 70s this afternoon. Not quite the 80s yet, but hey, they actually do make a return before too much longer. And next few days, really no major changes. Hour by hour forecast keeps us clear and dry tomorrow into Wednesday, and well, you just keep going. You just keep seeing more sunshine out there. Really no major changes in this forecast anytime soon, but hey, speaking of that supermoon, what's always impressive is when you take a picture of it and it sort of looks like the sun, that's when you know it's a supermoon. This was actually this morning when some of that cloud cover cleared out. This comes to us from Trisha Garza in Midland, and boy, it, it really was something early on today. Anytime that you can see the moon and sunrise has already happened, yeah, that's sort of impressive out there. And there will still be another chance to at least see some of that moonlight again tonight with more of those clearing skies out there. But one thing that is coming our way is a little bit of a cold front off to our north. And it might not seem to make a lot of sense when I was talking about 80s just a few seconds ago, and now we're talking about a cold front. How does that all work together? Well, this front is fairly weak, really not going to make any changes long term term, but tonight major effects. We're looking at some seriously cold air as we move into Tuesday morning. So if you do head outside, make sure to wear the jacket because it's going to be getting chilly. In fact, you know what? Forget the jacket. Just put on a coat. You're going to need it out there because we are looking at some really cold air coming our way into tomorrow morning. Lows dropping down into the 40s all across the basin, down into the Davis Mountains. In fact, this is sort of underplaying a little bit, putting at Marfa at 43. I think we'll really be looking at some of those 30s out there into the Davis Mountains, some exceptionally chilly air. Still haven't seen an actual freeze in Marfa yet. It's been close, though. We've been down around freezing, lower 30s out there the past couple of days. And well, what's this light blue? This is definitely something we haven't seen so far this year. It's actually a freeze warning that's in effect down towards the Davis Mountains, south of I-10, covering Marfa, Alpine, Balmeray, Fort Davis. These are all areas that are going to be looking at a chance for some freezing temperatures overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. This will be our first chance to really see a freeze making its way into West Texas. Definitely chilly out there, and yet we were at 77 this afternoon. So this is going to be a, really a tale of two forecasts. We've got the overnight temperatures just dropping through the floor, but those afternoon highs continue to rise 10 degrees above average for this time of year, and we actually have a little bit more warmth coming our way by the time tomorrow rolls around, and just a matter of time before we're talking about those 80s. Again, very cool, though, overnight, low lower 40s across much of the northern basin, and then upper 70s, even lower 80s tomorrow afternoon. 80 degrees on the nose in Big Spring, 81 in Gale, and more of that heat down into the rest of the basin. But again, it's the overnight lows really give you that little bit of a, a, a duality in our forecast, if you will. Again, dropping down into the 40s along I-20, but then back into the 80s by tomorrow afternoon. So we're going to see a little bit of everything out there. Coat early, shorts later. Yeah, go figure. 40 in Pecos overnight tonight. 
tonight, 81 by tomorrow afternoon. You see more of that into the Davis Mountains. It's definitely the coolest area we're going to be flirting with some of those freezing lows. 36 degrees overnight into Marfa, 36 in Valentine, 39 in Fort Davis. Certainly going to be a cold night out there, but the heat actually really gets cranked up starting tomorrow afternoon and continuing through the next few days. We're looking at a chance for a few days of upper 70s, lower 80s in the forecast Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, all going to be close to that 80 degree mark, and then, woo, drops right back down. 60s Friday, lower 60s by this weekend. Some really chilly air coming back into the forecast. Uh, by Saturday, and then, well, we sort of level off by the start of next week. But really, we got a little bit of everything out there. 80 Wednesday, 60 Saturday, 30 degree lows. We're, we're all over the place over the next seven days.